Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm sick. It sucks because we're leaving tonight uh, to go to Canada and getting on a plane really late tonight. But actually, by the time you guys see this video, we're probably going to be on the plane because there's Wi-Fi. So we're going to upload it really early um, tomorrow, Saturday morning. So yeah. Um, I'm off to go and do some last minute things before we take our long trip to Canada. So, uh, here we go. So I'm at the mall taking care of a bunch of different things that I have to take care of before heading out and I stopped to eat some pasta with oil and garlic. And they were nice enough to go in the back and make me a whole bunch of extra garlic because I'm trying to get rid of this throat issue that I'm having my throat's like really bugging out and it's hard to swallow so I know garlic kills bacteria so I'm like putting tons and tons of cloves of garlic on my pasta so yeah Iman's at home editing a video hopefully he's filming something as well Peace. what up everybody I know you're thinking like what the heck are you wearing I know I look like a mix of like E.T. and Cornholio from Beavis and Butthead but uh Lisa and I went out to eat last night. We came home and we just both immediately started feeling really, 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 really weird. So, like sick weird. And I don't get sick, like, I don't get very sick often. Like at most I'll get sick maybe once a year, if that. But, I don't know, it was just odd. I came home, my stomach felt funny. Uh, I started getting chills, my throat was hurting. I had a knot in my, uh, in my left calf that made me limp. And the, the weirdest thing was that I felt immediately groggy. And not like itis, like you're hungry, you're sleeping. I'm talking like groggy, like I couldn't keep myself awake. So I'm starting to wonder what the heck was, you know, did this guy put in our food? And um, I've never had food poisoning before. I don't know if this was food poisoning, maybe it was, but I mean, I don't know what the grogginess was about, but that part kind of scared me a little bit. The rest I was like, oh, this is weird. But the grogginess, was, I just found a little odd. It was like to the point I literally could not keep myself awake. I was like laying on the couch, like going in and out of sleep. And I didn't want to let myself fall asleep because I'm thinking, if he put something in the food, what if he, you know, put some like cyanide or just something crazy, you know, and I don't even know. I go to sleep. It's a wrap. <laughs> but, yeah, needless to say, you know, Lisa wasn't feeling good either. Um, so, I don't know. It was, just a, it was just an odd night. Sore throat, a knot in my calf, chills. And grogginess, and just in cold sweats, like it's just—it was just weird. So I'm up this morning. We're both feeling a little funky this morning. She's out uh, running some errands before we get on the plane tonight to go to Canada. I'm sitting here editing the Shakira video. I've noticed in like the last year or so, when I get sick, I actually get more hungry. Is that weird? I think it's weird because I know most people you usually lose your appetite, but I've been just eating like a madman today, you know. So I woke up, I had soup. Now I'm eating pizza. What's going on? I think I'm pregnant. What up, y'all? We're at the airport. See, our instructions told us to go to United, which is Terminal 2. And it turns out we had to go to Terminal 5. That was the mistake of the airline. So we had to walk. I know we're late. With luggage from Terminal 2 to Terminal 5. If you guys know airports, you know that's a really long walk with luggage. And poor Lisa got luggage half her size. So we made it to our gate, thankfully, there's a little bitty back there, thanks to uh, Lisa's um, professional line cutting. <laughs> it was like a uh, line eight, of like uh, 100 people. Like 200 people. She walked right to the front and right to the cashier. <laughs> somehow, and that's like the, not the first time she's done that. She like somehow can get away with it. I don't know how she does it, but she gets away with it every single time. So I just let her do it. I'm too big and clumsy to try to pull that one off. Everybody see me coming. She just walks in front, no problem. We are committed to making our flight safe and comfortable, so before we depart, please direct your attention to the following safety presentation. This information federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying a restroom smoke detector. There are 12 exits on. Please take a moment to find the exits closest to you, and remember they might be behind you. 
Should cabin pressure change, the seat cushion may be used for flotation. To remove it, pull the bottom cushion up from the seat. Hold the cushion to your chest with the straps facing away. <laughs> We're so delirious right now. We got kind of got into like a, a slap battle in the middle of the terminal. <laughs> We're sitting here. I don't even know what happened. She started like she slapped my hand. So then I threw something at her computer. <laughs> and then I... And she <laughs> flicked my knuckle. <laughs> All passengers and visitors are reminded that so some like, is prohibited I can't, I can't in the terminal back, building, flick, except in designated areas. Pow. It was like... <laughs> And then she trumped it and she got me even even worse after that because I got close because she hurt because they hurt her knuckle and I was gonna be like, oh I'm sorry and I leaned in and she blew her breath in my face. <laughs> <laughs> she wins. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we need to go to sleep. Look how sick I am. I'm so sick. <laughs>